Hey guys, I'm doing something uh, that we do every year. We take uh, we take and look at grain texture um, of different varieties and from different companies. And I'm using a coffee grinder here. Don't tell my wife. It, uh, they make great anniversary gifts, but they don't last for year to year if uh, I use them too much for corn. So uh, what I have here is um, we have a... a a Kingfisher 52C20, the KFC 52C20. Uh, this is the sample or the hybrid that won uh, the Ford Super Bowl this year. So that's, uh, let me turn the light on. There we go. Okay, so that's 52C20. This is a, a Master's Choice 5250 sample. So those are fairly comparable varieties. There's a lot of similarities and you know, uh, Master's Choice has talked about flowery grain forever. So uh, you can notice they're kind of light pale. Look at the huge kernels. Very deep kernels on that one. Probably the most popular corn we've had for three, four years now. Um, I have a, a Pioneer uh, variety here in the middle. Up here is actually a Mycogen BMR corn. So I just wanted to... Uh, to show you kind of what it looks like. I mean, we usually go and take it out to high moisture, grain moisture, but um, you know, one of the reasons if you're gonna plant BMR while you need to ferment it a long time, unless uh, they have some of the new, the flowery uh, BMRs, but um, those are agronomically are just horrible. So uh, they got some work to do there yet, but uh, the regular BMRs aren't too bad and uh, if you ferment it long enough and let it break down, it helps. And this here is some Enogen. This is a, a Golden Harvest Enogen variety. So I uh, thought maybe I'd, I'd work up some of this and we'll just see what the what the texture is. I'm not sure how easily I'll be able to, to do it and uh, videotape at the same time, but we'll give her a try. Okay, so first we'll we'll start with the Master's Choice. So all these uh, are somewhere between, I test them all, they're all 29 to 31% moisture. So um, not, a, not a huge swing in the moisture category. So we usually do like five seconds, so. Okay. This, so this is the Master's Choice corn. You can see in five seconds, it pretty well all broke down. It's all flowery material. So I'm going to, I'm going to move that pile right there so you can see what it looks like. Let's try the, let's try the Enogen's material. Bear with me. It's tough doing this one-handed. One of these days I'll have to get a tripod so I can talk and use both hands at the same time. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. See that difference there, people? Now, I'm not saying we couldn't uh, get it to break down if we go a little longer, but it's going to take a bit yet. Doesn't look like we hardly touch the stuff. Let's try it again. I got some left here if I clean it up. Is that a farmer today who said his wife is getting on him for using up all his data watching my videos. So I'm sorry about that if I'm using up your data here. I'll try to work fast, but this might be a long one, so. Okay, let's try it for 10 seconds with the Enogen corn.
think that was 10. A little better, not much. Okay, let's try the Kingfisher stuff, the KF 52C20. This is a big corn, if you've ever seen it growing. Okay. Give it a shot. Pretty nice. Definitely a lot better than the Energen. This variety didn't break down as good as the MC did, though. Let's sample. I think it's maybe a point or two drier, but. Okay, let's try the BMR here. Yikes, it didn't hardly touch it here. That's a little bit of an issue. And let's try the Pioneer. Pioneer does some really good things, so I'm not ripping on them. They're, they actually, I mean, as far as agronomics, grain corn, uh, bushel weights, uh, they do some really good things. And, um, but generally, all of the pros that, you know, that I would say are also negatives if you're feeding the stuff. So, oh. don't tell me I killed her coffee grinder already here. Sometimes the corn kernels get stuck along the edges, the inside. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. Barely scratched it. Want to try that Master's Choice again just for kicks? I've got a little bit left here. Try five seconds. See, so the reason why the starch availability is such a big deal, especially in high moisture and in grain corn, I mean, you can grind it smaller, but all you end up with is smaller rocks. <laughs> so, you know, you can... You can increase starch availability by fine grain grinding corn, but it's not near as much as starting with this kind of material to start with. So the, the prolamin protein is a lot less in this kind of stuff. So you can tell, you see how light colored it is and flowery material. Even this kingfisher corn is, it has that same light texture, even though some of the kernels didn't break up as easily. Compared to the Enogen, the BMR and the Pioneer Grain Corn. BMR, Kingfisher, Enogen, Master's Choice. Look at that. Just fine ground cornmeal. So you can imagine what that'll do in a cow. So that's when we talk about 10 to 15%, uh, the ability to reduce the amount of starch uh, in the ration with that kind of material. It's real and uh, it's a big deal. So um, 
If you have any questions, want to talk more about the hybrids that we're looking at, we look at dozens and dozens from multiple companies every year. So talk later, guys.